Hey guys and gals, DNA Plays here. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to answer the question, what if Mount Rushmore existed for Pokemon? If you like this content, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And without further ado, it's time for a history lesson. Mount Rushmore National Memorial centered on a colossal sculpture carved into the granite face of Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills in Keystone, South Dakota. Sculptor Gutson Borglum created the sculpture design and oversaw the project's execution from 1927 to 1941 with the help of his son, Lincoln Borglum. The sculpture features the 60-foot or 18-meter heads of Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, as recommended by Borglum. The four presidents were chosen to represent the nation's birth, growth, development, and preservation, respectively. Alright, so this is going to be harder than I thought. In order to retain the artist's original vision through the transition into the Pokemon universe, I'll have to find Pokemon symbolizing birth, growth, development, and preservation. Let's jump into which Pokemon would symbolize the birth of Pokemon. I think this spot on Mount Pokemore... God, we need a better name. ...goes to Rhydon. It may be entry 112 in the Pokedex, but according to Ken Sugimori, the primary designer for the Pokemon games, Rhydon was the first Pokemon ever created. This is also the reason why sprites of Rhydon were so widespread in the original games. To symbolize growth for the Pokemon franchise, I chose Pikachu. Pikachu has been in the anime since the very beginning, and there aren't many of the episodes that do not feature him prominently. He's the mascot and marketing icon for the franchise, and that's why I think he deserves the spot. To symbolize development, I chose Mudkip. Everyone knows the I like Mudkip means that were widespread at one point in time. This already marks Mudkip as a prominent candidate for the spot, but it also helps that he exists in the generation that first featured dual type starters. This marked a huge strive in the developers to change things up from their standard typing formula and making it a bit more interesting. And finally, to symbolize preservation, I chose Charizard. The Pokemon company loves him, fans love him, he has Mega and Gigantamax forms, this guy is hyped at every turning point. Some of the most expensive cards feature Charizard, and this is all from a Pokemon who's a starter in Gen 1 released 25 years ago. If that doesn't show preservation, I don't know what does. Alright guys and gals, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed yourself, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see you next time.